What's happening, YouTube Vinny here? I found this in my basement. I forgot I got this for Christmas. It is the Ronco Ready Grill. One of those little dinky, you know, kitchen appliances and all that. I just got done washing all the internal parts that I could take out and throw into the dishwasher, which is running great, by the way, if you saw the ammonia video, fixing it. Now, I'm heating it up for the first time like it says to do before you cook because if you look inside there those glowing elements they're supposed to grill your food I guess they're coated with like vegetable oil or something so it, it smokes a little bit so I'm just letting it you know maybe I'll turn the timer down because it runs off of uh, these ticks are a minute each so I'll set it back down I had to set to 30 for some cracked out reason I'm gonna let this uh, run for about five minutes and then I'm gonna throw a steak in here and we'll see how it cooks I'll show you the whole process of doing it hopefully I can do it one-handed if I can't then you know I could just put the camera down but yep I got where are you at you little bastard there we go. let this guy oop. I'll let this little guy sit out for a minute let it warm up and because I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing all kinds of crazy marinating because I got work 10 o'clock tonight I'm probably gonna hit it with the Ruh -roh. I don't want to be dropping any uh, spices on this thing there it is I found it I found it this is what we're going to be using. Real simple. This stuff's good, man. I like this. You get the big one. Just because if you do the math, it's always cheaper to go big. As far as food goes, you know, buying in bulk. But let's take a look inside here. Yeah, those... That's in... I forgot the coils or resistive heating or whatever it is. These suckers. There's some real heat coming off that. I think I think it's heated up enough. It lets you know the food's done. Now I'm just gonna let this cool off and I'll show you the other parts of this that you have to take out. Obviously there's a drip tray for all the grease and stuff, which is good. It's almost like a weird George Foreman, because you put the stuff in here. Let's see if I can get this out. See? You lay it out. You flip it open like this, put your food in, might be able to do some hand after all. And then you just in the grill. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute and let that steak warm up and uh, we'll give it, you know, ten minutes cook time, maybe less and see how it comes out. Alright, I'll be back. Guys, Vinny. So what you saw last was me with a steak sitting right here. Uh, well, yesterday I got called into work early, so I just cooked the steak real quick and went back to work without recording because I wanted to eat and go. Because, you know, time and a half is time and a half. Uh, but steak, you know, five minutes in this came out medium to medium rare, real juicy and tender. And yes, I'm going to show you something. I got some chicken in the sink. Uh, thought I got just boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm gonna season those up, and then actually show you that. I did get the early call again today, but you know I got plenty of time to actually follow through with this. So just uh, stick around. So I got two chicken breasts right here, thawed. They're just simply seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, and some parsley. Really. It's easier to do it on the tray, I've learned. I don't know why, you just take the tray, close it, Let's see if I can do this one handed. Let's see why not. Chicken's all pressed in there. There you go. Hmm, I have to adjust that. Alright, I'll be back. I have to adjust the chicken, but it goes in there like that. Alright, chicken 
comes in, I just turn the timer on. I just kind of set it high because you can gauge it. But now that's going to cook in there. Oh, I already smell the garlic. And we'll be back with the finished product. Here is the finished product. About 20 minutes in the uh, ready grill. You can see it's very juicy, still steaming out of the ready grill. I'm gonna make a sandwich for or a salad for work. Already tried a piece of it. It is super juicy, super tender. Cooked all the way through. This little thing, if you're not recording, it's super easy to use. Super quick. Not much of a mess in there except for where the chicken dripped the one time. And these little thingies, they just slide right out. And from the instructions, it says everything just gets burnt off the coil so you don't have to try to reach in there to clean nothing. And obviously, that comes out. You just clean all the uh, fat and grease drippings off, and you're good to go. Great little tool. The only thing is, it's big. But I like it. Chicken came out good, look at that, just juicier than shit. And it's cooked all the way through. Hope you all, if you're interested in something like this, you know, I'll, I'll put a link to where you can buy one in the description. Thanks for watching.